Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for weekly reading for August 2020 for love and relationship. like life has been f really fair to you i see life has been really fair to you you're happy you're extremely happy like you know really nowadays but you feel like you know that you want to hold back on your commitment that doesn't make any sense why you want to hold back on your commitment or you want to hold back like you know because you want to establish like you know something great it doesn't make any sense to me, but you know, let's see what's coming up here. It shows me that you are married, you are happy, you are in love, you will get along with your partner. Okay. You are working, you have your own work, but you are really like, you know, trying to hold back and try harder with another method or something new. Ah, the hold back on your, something to do with business. Why you want to hold back on your business? Your business is really very good. You should not. It has been really fair. And it's giving really like you know, to you a lot of money at this time. What you need to do only you have to believe. Your person could be really sick at this time. Like you know, they are not really feeling very well. Your person have a job or a business or something like, you know, it's not really establishing with that job. And you are like, okay, do another job. You are trying to plan for your person to do another job and welcome them to teach them something that you do. You get a call, your partner get a call or a message from another person. There is a different story, a different situation here. There is another person here, another Gemini, and there is a Capricorn, there is a Libra, Sagittarius, Dear Gemini, it looks, uh, it looks to me that, you know, there is another Gemini person, okay? And this person, like, you know, sometimes you feel like, you know, if they are slow, I want to end it because this isn't my direction. This person might be blocking me or something like that. He says, you don't fear that. It's not blocking you. You don't have to walk away from this. Like, you know, love is love. Because there is that love really in your life. And it looks to me that, you know... Um, for some of you, this is this relationship is working for a lot of you. And I get here that there is happiness, there is love, but there is worry. You worry really a lot. It 
If you are involved with someone and you love someone else, that someone else doesn't like your person, they want you to walk away from your person and end it. You felt like you know, that you worked your hard, like you know, very hard with the person that you are committed to. You feel sometimes you want to accuse your person like it was something or cheating or something like that because you want to have an excuse to have an affair. That's not nice. Well, it works like you know, most of the time. Oh, I want to be with the, with the one I love. Okay, I have someone here. Hey, what are you doing? I saw you really doing something. I saw you texting somebody. Are you seeing somebody else? Yes, you are. You are cheating on me. You are doing this. You are doing that. And whatever they do, you are annoyed. You are F. Ah, whatever. You want to fight with your person. Why? Because you want to have an excuse for you to be really looking at someone else. It happens all the time, huh? And this is wrong. You have to bring the peace and the harmony between you and the person that you are really with at this time. Because it looks to me here that there is another person that they will come like you no know, really to you and they are moody about really establishing a relationship with you and you are like why? Possibly because I, I, I have a husband if you are a female or if you are male, I have a wife. Maybe I need to push them away from the picture. Maybe I should hear them for the other person really like you know, to come to me because I want to open that road or that door like you know, for that person to be with me. Uh -uh, it doesn't work like that. This is wrong. This person haven't then yet presenting themselves to you or saying something to you yet for you to be really giving up and working on really ending another relationship or creating the drama and the chaos between you and someone. You cannot do that. Because it says here that, you know, you are hurting of what you want at this time. You can hurt your current relationship and you are going to be really get hurting with the one that who is not coming. As soon as you give up and shut the door on the relationship or the relationship that you are in at this time, with no particular reason, you just want to create a drama or dilemma for you to be really like, you know, just opening the door for another person, that other relationship is not going to work. Because that other person is not completely ready 100% to be with you. So you're going to complicate your life and up lonely because this is not the way to do it. You need to go with the flow at this time. Some of you are like, no, I don't want to be cheating. I have to let go of my partner at this time. So I will say, oh, we have a problem. Then I will do something. Oh, we were separated. That's why I'm really doing that right now. Then if it doesn't work with the other person, I will take the other person back. Sometimes it's too late. The other person is going to move on. And you will be like, oh, my God. I think, you know, Gemini, you did this last year or the year before and you know this is enough don't do it again you have all of these suspicions with your partner at this time also like you know even like you, know, you say i'm confident in myself i don't think my person is really cheating on me because i'm not really getting any cheating here you are the one who's interested in someone else for some of you are not doing anything like you know, there is that love there is that love you leave it alone but you keep being worried Concerned, like, you know, what shall I do? Your person is worried away, uh, uh, your person, your current relationship, that he or she worried a lot that you're going to hold back on the marriage suddenly out of the blue. Your person, like, you know, acting weird lately. You feel like, you know, there is something going on on their mind and you don't understand what's going on which is the one you live with or around you or you are in a relationship with. This person like you know, establishing a, a business or a new business and it's not really working very well. It's not progressing for your person. They want to pay their bills and everything and they don't want to really keep relying on you to do the effort for them. They are moody because you know, you've done enough and they know that you worked really very hard for them. They don't want to keep asking you. So they thought that they're going to bring the money and the investment and make like no really good money and support everything and reward you for your effort and your work. They are not hiding something. You keep really thinking that my person may be having an affair or having someone else. No, they don't. 
why you are having these thoughts because the love of your life you know showing up in the picture again and you are like i'm gonna find an excuse for my person like no that he or she did something so i will just like you know do whatever i want you need to straighten your act and your mind here because you are destroying yourself at this time and you, you cannot really like you know keep doing this to yourself you are confident and you have to keep your confidence up high because you are the only one. Yes, you are being loved. Everybody wants really to have you or a lot of people. That didn't really come right or sound right. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it this way. But what I meant, you have a lot of lovers or or uh, admirers like you know, around you here. And you are like, mm -hmm. I see that you are not doing anything about it. But in the same time, you are being loved. So remain confident there. Be proud of yourself. The person that you are living with also, or you are in a relationship with, they love you so much. You are making the money and establishing the money. For some of you, like, you know, there is a new hot relationship really going on on the side, and it's really very great. And that person is like, you know, keep flirting with you. And your person, the one you are in a relationship with, they know. They don't see you doing anything, but they know about this flirtation. And they are like, okay. And you are like, no, 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 there is nothing. No, I'm not doing anything. Uh-huh. You are lucky nowadays, even if you want to go and gamble, you know, you are going to be really getting really good money. But keep in mind, you cannot really have any jealousy at this time of anyone because you're going to lower your energy. Keep in mind that your person is not cheating on you. The other person, they care for you a lot. They don't really like, you know, just admire another person. Even if they have someone around like, you know, ah, they care, but they are fascinated by you. So you have really to be really up high here. For some of you who bought a house, like, you know, you are looking at really little mistakes here and there. And you are fixing it, which is a good thing. Free yourself, dear Gemini. Free yourself. I get here. Free yourself. You are in charge. You are in control. You are in a great position at this time. And I get here like, you know, you are getting your wish. Everything that you desire or need is really getting there. Some of you are going to be really in a great posi position. In a year and a half. If you are working for the government, for example, you're going to be really like, you know, for example, ambassador, something like that. You are going to be really getting higher position from now on. You are going to be really well known. There is so much and a lot that you are doing that you are going to be rewarded for. If you have a business is getting higher more and more and more, you're going to be really making good money. Lucky at work. You have a lot of admirer there, like, you know, people like, you know, love you for the way you are, the way you, you proceed with things. You are being successful. You are reaching, like, you know, a big goal there. In the next three months, you are going to be really more successful. It's coming. You have been slowed down also, like, you know, with another person that related to your current relationship with your person. This person is not really trying, like, you know, to step on your toes. This person went away, like, you know, they, it is over. They don't want to deal with any situation at this time. And you feel like, you know, maybe your person is still talking to them. No. You slow down yourself like that. This person, your person is being careful. They don't want to deal with the past one. You feel like you know, your person is paying like you know, an ex of theirs like you know, some amount of money or something. It says here, no, they are not. They had a problem and they had an issue and it seems to be that you know it's not really going to get anywhere. They are not dealing with this person at all, so rest assured. 
Well, dear Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I know this time, like, you know, the reading is totally kind, kind of like different because I'm getting here too many stories. But if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziz.com. The link for my website is below this video in the description box. If you need a private reading, click on reading prices, purchase your minutes, then give me a call. The phone number is listed on the website. Please do not send me an email and tell me I need a private reading. What shall I do? Click on my website, purchase your minute and give me a call. Some of you like Nora, they make a payment and they sit there. They never called me or anything. I have to run after their email. Sometimes it's not the email that they receive like no really letters on. It could be attached to PayPal a long time ago. And please just give me a call. Leave your voice voicemail, a brief message. My name is this. I made a payment this so I can call you back. If I'm on another call, please wait and I will call you back. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.